We're going to start, we're going to learn how to graph two equations at once. And we've already learned how to graph one equation, but today we're going to learn to do two and to find the point which they intersect. So, I'm going to do number example one. And before we start, could somebody please read for us the vocabulary? The goal and, well first, somebody read us the goal of this lesson. Oscar. Estimate the solution of a system of linear equation by, I mean linear equation by graph. Remember the word is pronounced linear. Or linear? Linear. Oh. And linear means an equation with x and y variables that have an exponent of 1 and are perfectly straight. Linear. And if you look at the vocabulary, let's actually, let's talk about vocabulary later. Let's, let's go ahead and start with example one. Now, we have two equations here. Equation one and equation two. Before I can graph them, remember, I've taught you two different methods. You could either use the x-intercept and y-intercept, or you could use slope, putting it in slope-intercept form method, which is my favorite method because I find it a lot easier. So let's look at the first equation and I'm going to rewrite it over here to the right so that I have space. I'm going to rewrite this equation in the slope intercept form by adding 3 to both sides. That leaves me with y equals 3x minus 7. So I have a, a slope of 3 over 1 and a beginning point of negative 7. Now, this is stuff that we've already we've already learned to do, and I understand that some students still have trouble with this. But for right now, I'm going to look at the other equation and graph it. 2x plus 2y equals 10. I'm going to subtract 2x to both sides. and divide 2 to both sides. Now why did I leave this number as a fraction? Why didn't I just write negative 1? George? I need a rise and a row. So here it's going to be negative 1 is my rise and positive 1 is my run. My beginning point is 5. And why don't I go ahead and label these two? All right, now this is where it gets a little complicated because this is something we haven't done before. We've learned how to graph single equations, but we've never done two at the same time. So the first one's going to be, I go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and I run 1. My second equation is going to be over here. 2, 3, 4, 5. I go down 1 and I run 1. So my solution is where the two lines intersect. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to find this exact point. But right now, we're just going to approximate. So I would say that this is probably 1, 2, 3, I would say 4 and 1. This is an approximation. It means that it's not exact, but it's my best guess. So you can stop recording, Matthew.